Hey guys, John Faulkner here at Survival Dispatch, and today we have a new product announcement from our friends over at Olight. Uh, Olight sent us this, this light a couple weeks ago to uh, check it out, put it through its paces, and see what we had to think about it, um, and also to offer you guys a coupon code, which we will have down below. So, uh, the Olight Seeker 2 Pro. It's uh, one of their new lights in the Seeker family, and I've been using the Seeker lights for quite a while, going back to like the R50. That This, bag, this uh, flashlight's been in my bag for... I don't know, probably close to a year now. I love it. I love the fact that it's rechargeable. And pretty much Olight upped the game and made everything that was in the R50 better in the Seeker 2. So let's take a look at some of these features. Uh, first of all, you'll notice that instead of having one single LED, they have three in this one. And uh, Compared to the R50, they've also gone away from an orange uh, peel reflector to a very smooth reflector on these three LEDs, and this gives it a longer throw. Uh, 3200 lumens coming out of this thing, and uh, it's smaller, yet it still is just as bright as the R50, which is pretty amazing. It just shows where technology is starting to go. So one of the ways that they made it smaller was due to the fact that they used a smaller battery. Instead of the 26650, they went with a 21700. So a little bit smaller of a battery means this is a lot smaller diameter than the R50, and it feels really good in the hands. Uh, almost EDC size at this point. It has a lanyard and stuff on it if you wanted to use it as that. I would still consider it a, a bag light or a, a great light to have around the house uh, during a natural disaster or something like that. Even just taking out the trash, it's a fantastic light because it has so many features. Um, but they were able to reduce the size with the battery. Uh, with that also, they've gone and redone the entire outside of the light. No more uh, metal checkering for grip, they actually went with this uh, rubber uh, textured pads on the side and they give it a ton of grip. Even if your hands are wet, um, light still has a ton of grip. It's real soft. What I've noticed, because uh, it's been cold the last couple of days, the battery, uh, the flashlight doesn't get as cold either in the hand if you're just bare hands for a while. Um, so the rubber is really, really nice, adds a lot of traction. Um, you'll have to see how, how the durability lasts over a long period of use, but so far, you know, we've thrown this thing in the dirt and, you know, gotten it wet and, and it's, it's really, really nice. So it makes it feel really, really good in the hands. And this is the first time that I've ever seen Olight, you know, put this technology uh, and features on, on a flashlight. And I really like kind of where they're going. They've also added these finger grooves in it, which just make it feel good in the hand also. And, uh, you know, from, from that standpoint, I think this is a, an awesome improvement over the R50. Uh, also, on the Seeker 2 Pro this year, is it's the same, pretty much the same activation switch that you saw in the older models, uh, but this actually has indicator lights on it. It has two sets, one up the right side that tells you uh, by 25% where the battery is. So from 100 until you get to 75, it's going to show full, and then 75 to 50, 50 to 25, and below 25. So it's really cool to be able to grab your flashlight real quick, just hold the button and see where it is. If we're talking about in a survival situation, even, you know, we have uh, hurricane season coming up here in about a month or so, always making sure, hey, where are those batteries at? So if the power goes out, you know, we know we don't have a dead battery in a flashlight, so you can easily check it on the battery indicator. The other side will also show you where you're at as far as the levels of intensity from low all the way up to turbo. Also, on the Seeker uh, 2 Pro, the uh, the charging capabilities of this thing have really been changed, and I think in they're in a really good way too. Included with this flashlight, you'll get this new L mount. Uh, it comes with the light, and what this allows you to do is, is you can mount this to say the inside console of your car. I think it makes it fantastic to put it by the front or back door of your house, maybe even by your bed stand, you know, attach it to uh, the bed rail of your bed or on your nightstand, something like that. And it's magnetic and it just, boom, it'll hold your flashlight there. And it, you know, you, you always know where it is instead of it getting kicked and knocked off and roll around. Um, you'll always know where your flashlight is. On the top side is where you attach the charger. So you can attach this to your nightstand and uh, take it off, use the flashlight all day, whatever you need to do, come home at night and just stick it on there. You always know that your light is where it is and that it's ready to go. Um, as always, the, uh, the Olight charger will give you the indicator light telling you if it's red charging for, or green for good to go. So you'll always be able to see that as well. And this, uh, this mount can be installed really easy just with some two-sided uh, two tape that's included in the box or the screws also that's included in the box. So uh, super, super easy, everything you need is, is in the box when you get it. And, uh, you know, and like I said, this thing can be mounted in so many different places inside your locker at work, uh, in your car, in your house. Uh, you can even keep it in the kitchen. So there's no longer like the flashlight and the 
junk drawer that just rolls around with all the other crap in there. Uh, you know, an organization is life. If you guys follow the channel, you know me, organization is life. So this is pretty awesome. Uh, and this also works with like the H series, the S series, and the X series of Olight flashlights as well. Um, so that's the first thing, new feature that's, that's included uh, in the box. The second thing is, is with this light, you're also getting a try to get on camera here, a really long cable here, um, which is really nice if you want to be able to plug it in the wall, like I said, and run it up to your nightstand, put it in that cigarette lighter, and then run it really nice and neat up to the, to the inside of your console. Um, and I'll kind of show you here, I have my other Olight charger. Um, you can see the, the difference in, in length here. So uh, incredible, you know, quite a bit longer going from, from pretty much here. I know it's kind of hard to see and I'm fumbling here from here all the way down. So uh, almost twice the length. I think it is twice the length actually. So yeah, over twice the length. So super cool. Um, I like that, uh, you know, because it, it gives it a little bit more uh, of an ability to, to adapt to different situations. And I think this light is a fantastic light for those who have a prepared mindset. You know, you, you'll know that your light is always ready to go and the added features make it really easy for you guys to adapt that. Um, so those are, you know, most of the features. It has a nice little crenulated bezel um, on the outside. I think it's more of an aesthetic kind of thing. Um, not really a huge, you know, striking bezel or anything like that, but, but really it's aesthetically looking uh, pleasing to the eye. And like I said, a lanyard loop on the back. Um, let's talk about the controls. This is a side switch uh, operating flashlight. So, you know, hold it down, it'll turn the light on, um, <clears throat> turn it off, just one simple click. And then you can toggle through. You start out, uh, one of the things that I like is that this light does have a moonlight mode to it, uh, which the Seeker R50 did not. That went down to 50 lumens. This goes all the way down to five lumens, which is fantastic uh, to use. And, uh, and then you can toggle through. Once you get past the moonlight five lumens, it goes up to low, which is 50 lumens. Fantastic for just searching inside a vehicle, uh, close quarters inside of, an, of a building, anything like that. And then you can go up to medium, which is 300 lumens, high, which is 1200 lumens, and then turbo, which is 3200 lumens for two minutes. Both the uh, turbo and the high lumens will drop down after two minutes to 600 and then stay consistent there. So turbo is really made to, if you had to do some search and rescue real quick and you really needed to blast a lot of light out for a short period of time, you could just double tap the uh, side switch, automatically hit the turbo mode and be able to see out really far. Uh, and then it's gonna dim down, like I said, to 600 lumens and it'll stay constant there. And that's really just to save the light from overheating, uh, burning up the, LEDs or the battery or the circuitry with, that's within the light. So uh, that's really a safety precaution there, uh, just so you can make sure the hardware keeps going. So uh, like I said, you know, it's a super versatile light. To have one light that can go from five lumens all the way up to 3,200 lumens allows it to really fill a whole bunch of different roles that you might need in a flashlight. That's why I really like these being in my bag because I know I get a real long run time if I ever needed a, a long period of, of survival, if I found myself in a long period of survival situation, or if I just needed to have a ton of light for signaling or something like that, I have a ton of lumens packed into this thing as well. Um, so that's really what the lumens are. And we'll show you a couple different you know videos of us outside um, and how it compares even to the R50. I think that the, the three LEDs in the Seeker 2 gives it a, a longer beam, uh, a little bit wider of a spill as well as far as the hotspot goes. Um, uh, it's a little bit wider than the R50, but it also gives you a little bit more throw uh, over the R50. Um, Olight claims that this will give you a reach out to about 250 yards. I could say you could easily identify things uh, around 100, 150 yards past there. Um, you're not really going to be IDing anything. You're just going to be mostly noticing if it's something's there or not. So, but you know, it, it definitely throws a beam a long ways. Operation of the light is super easy and very, um, very easy to get used to. And uh, you can start by always, what I like the most is hold the button down, hold the side button down, and it'll turn on in, in moonlight mode. Uh, this is great because you don't ever know what mode you were in last. This does have a memory. So whatever mode you were in last, if you just tap the button once, it'll come back to that mode. If it's been a while and you were in high mode, it sometimes sucks when you're up close and you just tap it once and it's like, boom. Um, so if you hold it down, uh, it'll automatically go into moonlight mode. If you hold it down again, it'll start toggling through the modes. So you got low, medium, and high. 
And then if you double tap, then it goes into turbo. Um, and then the last mode, if you want to, if you triple tap, goes into strobe. So now that we all have issues and can't see, um, we'll move on. So super easy. And then like I said before, if you just tap it, it'll go back to the last mode that you were in. So, uh, so really easy to use. Um, there is no back tail switch. This is used, made to be you know, held in the hand, activated with the thumb, and, uh, and really easy to, to get used to really fast. And like I said, I love the fact that I can just hold the button down, get that moonlight mode, and be able to, to search uh, things that are close by without blinding myself. So I think the switch on the Olight is fantastic. And I know a lot of other flashlights, you know, the. The settings are just like this, but you know, Olight's done a really fantastic job. The button has a nice little rubber texture on it, and it's also flat, milled flat, uh, where your thumb goes. So it's really easy to, even in pitch dark, uh, be able to identify exactly where the switch is and activate the light, even if it's in a bag or something like that. So. All right, so now that you've seen all the features in and outs of the lights, let's talk about the special that Olight has going on. Today is May 1st, okay? On May 3rd, this light is going to be 30% off. Okay, the 30% discount includes the flashlight, the charging cable, the L bracket, and the sheath, along with, you know, the manual and all that stuff inside the box. You get 30% off. It brings this light down to $97.96. For an extra $4, you can get an additional uh, L bracket and an additional charging cable. Makes it a fantastic bundle, I think, because you can then keep one charging system inside your house and a charging system inside your car or truck. And then you know no matter where you have your flashlight, if you use it a lot, you can just plug it into the charger real quick and always have a battery good to go. So it's 30% off for just the light, the cable, and the uh, charging dock. And then for an extra $4, you get 40% off the uh, charging cable and the dock. So $101 for pretty much two charging systems uh, and the light. And remember, the charging systems do work with the S, the H, uh, and the X series of lights. So if you already have those, they'll plug right in and charge away. In addition to the sale that Olight has going on, the Seeker 2 Pro uh, and the bundle kits, also, if you spend $169, you'll get the M1T Raider plus for free. So a $60 option that you get for free. So pretty much like $250, $260 worth of stuff for 160 bucks. It's a pretty sweet deal. Uh, so, you know, if you're looking for an EDC light, fantastic EDC light to keep in your pocket uh, to go with, you know, the seeker in your bag or in your nightstand or in your truck. So really cool option. Um, and then in addition to that, Olight has given Survival Dispatch a 10% off coupon code, which we'll leave in the description, to use on all other products that Olight has on their website. Guys, this is a fantastic way uh, to save. We thank Olight for giving us uh, this ability to pass on the savings to you. We really hope that you guys use the discount codes that Olight has given us. It's a fantastic opportunity and a great thing that Olight has done to help our survival community uh, save a little bit of money on you know, one of the necessities that you have with regards to prepping, and that's flashlights. So make sure you head on over there and check out all the other awesome products that they have. If you have any other questions or comments uh, on the uh, Seeker, feel free to leave them below. We'll definitely make sure that we answer them. And also, guys, remember, this sale for 30% off the flashlight, 40% off the bundle is only good on May 3rd. So make sure you guys jump on it and really save some bucks on, on good quality products. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the like button. And until next time, be safe.